Hi, I'm, I'm going to walk through the assembly instructions for the Louisville Slugger Blue Flame Pitching Machine. And what I've got here on the table is kind of the, the components of the, the pitching machine as they come out of the box. And I'll just walk through the sequence that you would, that you would take to assemble this, this unit. So what I'm going to start with is a couple of, uh, couple of pieces here, the first one being the, the main uh, component, the main base of the, the unit. And I'm going to start by actually putting it on this piece, which is the, the stabilizer bar for the front. So all I do is I, I put it in there and there's a, a pre-threaded um, area here to screw in this, uh, this knob in order to secure it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the throwing arm, which is this, this vertical piece that has the spring attachment. Now the only consideration you want to make here is making sure that this spring is on the appropriate side of the unit. So if you look here, we have a vertical bar on one side of the, the main base here. And what you want to do is line up the spring to be on that side of the unit. So all we're going to do, there's two pre-drilled um, screws and pre-threaded here, uh, screw holes. I'm going to drop the unit right in there, and I'm just going to hand tighten these. And you'll, you'll feel right away that there's a threaded area on the bottom of the base. So I'm just going to tighten them in like that. I'll do the same with this, this front screw. And then once you have them hand tightened as far as you, you'll go, you just want to use a, a ratchet just to give it that extra little bit of, of tightening here. So I've got a couple of ratchets right here that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to tighten this on the front and back just so those, those, those items are, are secured. So on the, on the bottom side of this, you'll see the screws have come out on the bottom. And there's two little nuts just as an added piece of security here. We're going to hand tighten those and give them a little tighten just so they're, they're good and snug on the bottom here. Not, not to over tighten them or anything like that, but just to have them secured. So now we've got our base kind of set up. Now the next step um, we go through here is now that we've got the base, we're going to deal with the throwing arm attachment. Now, the, the or, sorry, we're going to deal with the, the lever attachment uh, to release the ball. So what we're going to do is you'll see on this vertical piece that it'll slide in here and there's a hole that goes right through on both, both sides. So what we're going to do there, there's an attached bolt that we're going to deal with. You just want to make sure that the arm at the top here is facing the front of the machine, facing the stabilizer bar at the front. And all we're going to do is line up the holes here on both sides. And we're going to push that bolt right through there. We're going to slide on the washer on the other side. And then hand tighten the nut on the back of that. So you can see right here, we've got, got them on both sides. Now the, the point of this is not to have this super tight but we'll want to take our, our ratchets and we want to tighten them to a certain point here just to make sure they don't come loose. They don't have to be over tightened. You never want to have too much friction on this, this arm. So you can see that that arm moves very easily at this point, no friction. So that's that step. Now, on the throwing arm attachment, we also have this release block attachment. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the release block. The release block should be on the front side of the release lever and facing 
the, the throwing arm. And then we're going to take this triangular knob and we're just going to tighten this on the back. And it really doesn't matter uh, at this point. I put it in the middle hole. There's uh, seven holes uh, through this throwing arm and I put it right in the middle because we're setting it up for, for a regular pitch. So the next step here is you'll notice that the spring doesn't have any tension. It's not attached. I'm going to remove the pin from the bottom of the, of the, the spring. I'm going to just line this up. Again, it can be in any of these holes, and I'm just going to push the pin through. And what that does is allow us to use the power pedal to apply tension to the spring. So that's that point. Now I can apply tension and, and move this arm back underneath the release lever if I, if I want. So that's those steps. The, the next step is going to be the micro adjustment screw. So the micro adjustment screw is, is meant for, for modifying the pitches to move them up and down in small increments in the, in the strike zone. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it right in the middle. There's holes in the back of the throwing arm. I'm going to just line them up with one of those holes. I'm going to make sure that that I attach that with the triangular knob and that the micro adjustment screw is facing the end of the throwing arm upwards. So I attach that, that's done. And now the last step is the ball shield. The ball shield is to protect the, the user from, from the ball or any, any uh, uh, things to do with throwing the system. So the ball shield basically drops in on the top of the unit. There's some screws on the throwing arm. I'm just going to drop it in there and I'm going to hand tighten the screws just to hold it. There's two screws on the top. So I'm going to have those two screws that are hand tightened. And then I'm going to finish off by just taking a, a normal screwdriver and hand tightening with the screwdriver so it's nice and secure. And then we have our completed assembly of the Louisville Slugger Blue Flame Pitching Machine.